on the station that's on your side. This is Channel 7 News. Good morning, Arkansas. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Good Morning Arkansas. Baptist Health Cardiologist Dr. Scott Davis joining us this morning. And we're talking about cholesterol-lowering medication. Scott, great to see you again, as always. Yes, sir. Um, this is something that I know patients probably ask you about all the time. What yep. are the benefits? When should someone start on it? What can you tell us about some of the most frequently asked questions about cholesterol medication? Yeah, so one of the questions that often comes up is, if I start this cholesterol medicine, doc, will it dissolve blockage? Right? And so I tell people, no, there's not a janitor and a drum effect. There's not a Drano <laughs> yeah. effect you know, that will dissolve but maybe not really? because we got new data. There's a study that just came out in, within the last six, eight months that looked at folks with mild coronary plaque, okay? okay? Took to about 200 patients and they did a coronary CT angiogram, okay? So okay. non-invasive, but they did a fancy CT to look at their plaque and they can quantify how much mild blockage they have. Then they randomized them to three different groups. Okay. Intense statin therapy, moderate statin therapy, and then nothing, okay? Mm. Just a, uh, a sugar pill, sure. right? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the high placebo. dose, right, yeah. high dose cholesterol medicine, moderate, and then low. And did you know that they looked at them over 18 months, the wow. folks with the high intense statin therapy actually showed regression mm. of plaque. Folks that had moderate level of statin therapy showed at least they retarded, the, the, that it didn't progress, okay. okay? And then compared to the folks that were not on any cholesterol medicine. So we've had more and more data that's emerged that has shown then benefit, mortality benefit, if you're taking a cholesterol medicine, if you've never had blockage and you don't want blockage. Mm. Now we're starting to see maybe this these, these medications can start to cause plaque regression, which is a new, new territory for us. See commercials form all the time. Right. I mean, they are constantly running on TV and on, on online. When should someone start to consider going on something like that? Right. And so there's never the per perfect pill. There's never a magic bullet that, sure. that doesn't have any side effects. But the benefit is more and more, and the side effects are less and less as you kind of compare the two. Okay. So I tell people, look, if you've got any kind of risk factors, right, if you're diabetic, if your family, if you've got an early family history of coronary disease, early onset of high blood pressure, then you need as men start in their mid 30s like 35 for sure okay. should start to at least engage their family doctor find out what their their cholesterol is and then start having that conversation with primary care doc women more as they approach their 40th birthday okay, okay? but start to pay it you know we just want awareness we want to know you know you to pay attention then to where you kind of fit but even low risk we've shown folks benefit from cholesterol medicine. What about risk factors for high cholesterol or moderate cholesterol? What are some of those you always tell people you gotta watch for these to, before you get on some of this medication? Well, obviously diet makes a difference, yeah. right? And so, uh, you know, it, it can, lifestyle modification is huge. And so, you know, making good choices as far as, you know, high grains and, and, and fruits and vegetables versus, you know, uh, drive-through cheeseburgers, yeah. right? And so, you know, that is the first thing to do. It, but w the, genetically, certain folks are predisposed to having high cholesterol okay. and even if you make a, a concerted effort for six to 12 months and your cholesterol still up then you need to have that conversation about medicine with your doctor okay anything else about cholesterol lowering meds that folks should know uh, at that, that this time key, key thing though is in the past we've known if you have heart disease uh -huh. you benefit from cholesterol therapy now more and more data is showing that primary prevention getting on cholesterol therapy early can re can, can change the direction of the ship as far as your risk for heart Heart disease down the road. Okay, one of the number one killer heart That's disease right absolutely. there. So any way we can prevent, be proactive to That's make right. sure that you are ahead of that before it happens, and that's what the folks do there at Baptist Health. You can always contact Baptist Health at the number on your screen, the health line there, and uh, of course schedule an appointment with your primary care physician first, and then they can direct you absolutely. over there to the Baptist Health folks and take great care of you. Dr. Davis, great to see you as Have always. Week, we'll see you next time. Back with more of Good Morning Arkansas after this.